Ten years ago, my mom died of cancer. That hurt. I would have loved to have seen her healed. As she was dying, she asked my wife two times to tell her the gospel. But I don't know what she did with it. And when she died, for a week, I didn't feel anything. I was kind of numb. I was in shock. And then after a week, it hit me. And I just had this big, burning question in my heart. Was my mom in heaven? That was the question that rose from my heart. And I didn't want some kind of theological answer. I just said, Dad, I want to know, is she with you? Can I move on with this? And that day I was just distraught. And I didn't want to sleep. So I stayed up, walking up and down, going, God, where is my mom? Going, this hurts. And then at three o'clock in the morning, after I'd shouted at God, after I'd gone, God, how can you let this happen? Poured all my anger out on God. Because you know, he's big enough, you can shout at him. You can go to God and go, ah! And I do regularly. And from the depths of my being, I, I ran out of tears. I just cried everything. Three o'clock in the morning, the presence of God came in the room. It was tangible. I didn't expect it. The air went thick. There was a beautiful smell came in the room. I felt this tingling in my body. And then this wave of, of, the only way I can describe it, like liquid love, it just went whoosh, over me. And in that instant, I didn't know what had happened to my mom, but I knew that whatever had happened, I could trust God. And a peace that goes way beyond understanding entered my heart and mind. And I got up off the floor, because I was on the floor, and I went to sleep, totally at peace. When you're disappointed, you do not need an answer. That will not solve it. When you're disappointed, we can go to God, we can pour out our heart to God, we can go, ah, till we've got no more tears left. And then we wait, we wait. And whether it takes one second or three months, we wait for that peace that is beyond understanding to settle in your heart. Because we all get disappointed, don't we? And the pain of disappointment occupies the same place as where faith lives. Did you get that? The pain of disappointment occupies the same place where faith lives. I've just got time to tell you the end of the story. Three years later, I haven't heard anything about my mom. I have this growing sense that maybe my mom did make it to heaven, but I'm at peace, whatever's happened. And I'm sitting with my dad in a restaurant. As we were going to meet with my dad, me and my wife, the Holy Spirit says, I'm gonna break in in the middle of the meal and reveal my presence to your dad. And as we're talking over breakfast, I sense the presence of the Lord. We're in a restaurant, the presence of the Lord comes. And I go, whoa, and I say, dad, how are, you? How are you since mom has died? We haven't talked for a, a good while about it. And the presence of the Lord comes really strong. And my dad starts to weep. And he says, he says I've, I've not told anyone this story before. But something happened between me and your mom. The morning after she died, I'm waking up. And I'm waking up in pain. And this all happened within, within about two seconds. But you know how things can last ages. He says, just as he's starting to open his eyes and feel the pain of being awake again, he notices, he sees a figure in the corner of the room. And he goes, who, who, who's that? And he goes, oh, my mom's name was Mavis. He goes, Mavis, is that you? And he heard these words in his heart. I've come to say goodbye. Thank you. I'm going to follow him. And she puts her hand in and points at his bedside table. As he's opening his eyes, he looks at the bedside table. There's a picture on his bedside table and he sees in the picture, Jesus. The next thing he feels is this wave of love goes over him and he's in floods of tears at the table. And as he looks at the picture more, it fades into a picture of my mom. 
And that's the picture he has of the side of his bed. And I'm in tears now. And I'm saying, Dad, I'm following where Mom went. Are you going there too? I'm following Jesus like Mom. And his, his tears is going, yeah, I'm going to follow Jesus. Jesus is beautiful. It's worth following. So if you're locked in disappointment, pour it out to God. God is not the source of your disappointment. Lord, I want to thank you that you're a God of hope. Where there's disappointment, pull out the thorns so we can trust you.